Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Harrison and welcome to my Android tutorial on Recycler Views. So in this tutorial series, we'll be going over Recycler Views, of course. Um, we'll be populating the data from Reddit's open API. So we'll be parsing their JSON data using Volley. Uh, we'll be doing our best to mimic a list view as the recycler view. Um, you know, uh, when I was making an app a while ago, I was using a list view to populate my data, and then a buddy of mine recommended recycler views. So, recycler views are much lighter, less code, they should be more efficient. But again, in my whole process of trying to switch between list views and recycler views, I ran into a lot of difficulties. So, it took me a while to really uh, make my recycler view look the way I wanted it to. But anyways, that's kind of what this tutorial is designed for. So if that's what you're looking for, just kind of recycle views, um, volley, JSON parsing, and you don't want to go through it, then definitely just go to my GitHub page, fork the repository, get the code that you need, and move on with your life. You definitely do not have to follow this series to just get what you need, um, for sure. But um, if you want to go at a slower pace, kind of know how uh, everything's put together. Like if this is your first Android application, then um, this is a great place to start. Awesome. Uh, we'll be going from start to finish. So we'll be doing layouts. We'll be jumping into the Gradle and the uh, Android manifest. Uh, you know, creating new classes and just um, buttons, link, just linking everything together just to make sure we have a working application on the Android platform. Uh, oh, there went everything goes. Um, but so on the screen, you can see the, the final product that we have over here. This is just a recycler view, mimicking a list view. So you can see that there's the rows. We have a network image view, uh, some titles, and just kind of scroll. And it's an endless scroller as well. So you just kind of scroll through. It should hit the loading screen. And the emulators are really slow on the PC, or at least from my experience. The Android emulators are very slow. Um, on my Mac, they work a lot faster. But anyways, regardless, um, this is the uh, recycler view. You know, so there's that row, and then they're separated by a line. On this side, we have the card view, different format, or just a different way of displaying the same information. But cards are awesome. Um, so scroll through. It's also an endless scroller. But just so I don't want to get caught in the loading page, um, before I load more, let's just click on one of these and it'll launch a web activity which you'll then be able to see uh, what the post is going to you know the content that you want to see so we'll definitely be covering that we'll be covering everything uh, pretty much from start to finish and uh, you know I have my notes on the side definitely I'll be referring to my notes throughout the tutorial series um, I am not the best programmer in the world by all means but um, so if I uh, say something wrong or I describe something you know not correct or maybe I do something slower or uh, you know there's a more efficient way to do something then definitely let me know you know let me know in the comments or email me and um, hopefully we can make this tutorial series better uh, make the code more efficient or who knows uh, just to make everything um, uh, run more smoothly I guess uh, throughout the series there'll definitely be some copy and pasting uh, you know, when using Volley, there's, you know, Google provides some good documentation and some good code for a singleton class and for a picture cache, uh, picture cache code. So, really just make things run faster. So, you know, hey, if Google provides it, might as well use it. Hey, why not? Um, but, you know, I think that's about it. I think I covered everything. Um, in the next video, we'll start jumping into making things uh, we'll also be covering fragments so this whole list is in a fragment running on top of an activity so what we'll do we'll do first do it all in activity and then I had problems when I was loading more so then I had to go to fragments but fragments are awesome they're kind of what you're supposed to do is what should be done from the beginning but we'll, we'll definitely cover all of that in later episodes um, and in this tutorial series, I do kind of expect you to know a little bit of Java, or at least know Java, and um, downloaded Android Studio, and you have the 
uh, you have the Java SDK. So I guess I'm kind of assuming that. If not, I'll try to find some links and put them in the description to, um, you know, get you downloaded and get you started with the whole Android Studio interface. Uh, I will be using Android Studio. I might go over this in the next video, but let's just go over uh, what version I have. Android Studio got 1.2.1.1. Uh, the emulators that I'm running, those are Nexus 5s with the 21 API, I believe. Um, API 21. Yeah, and they're running off the um, the um, ARM VEI device. I Let's just like let's just pretend like we're creating a new one. Go next, and um, yeah. So I'll be I was. It's the Lollipop Twenty One, Arm V Seven. So those are the uh, emulators I'm using. But anyways, hey, let's make this app. Let's stroll through it together. Let's see how that. Works. All right. So without any further ado, let's get into making the app. I'll see you in the next episode.